Try kuongea na Odi wa Moranga na X3 nikaeleza kila kitu kile mimi nazosema unajua kibaya ni kibaya kizuri ni kizuri yani pia ni kuwa kukuwa na 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 na, na uhusiano mwema na na watu walio karibu inakuwaje tuongo nguvu mimi ni presenter ali your entertainment pa and by the way the air is always for amazing kama unakumbuka my previous interview nimepiga story na audio muranga nimepiga story pia na x-ray na tumezungumzia hii issue ya msanii ambaye ni wa kundi hilo la bundok kwa sababu amesema kwamba bundok bado haijakufa nimetia bidi nimemtafuta nataka nipige naye story tujue anaendelea aje you know since the last time we met nakuwaje bro Ah, niko fresh sana. Uh -huh. eh, niko poa. Fresh barida. Eh, eh. fresh barida. Yeah, last time tulipoongea you know hali yako haikuwa vizuri. You were sad lakini leo kidogo unaona kama umechangamka kidogo. Eh, nimechangamka, niko fit. Uh -huh. Tumekuwa na ma bros wangu, uh -huh. X-ray and Odi wa Moranga uh -huh. na tuka discuss then nikawaambia zile vitu uh, challenges niko napitia through uh -huh. na uh, police zilikuwa position zilikuwa zimeniweka mm -hmm. yes, ilikuwa imeni affect kidogo mm -hmm. but tumeelewana tumeongea poa mm -hmm. na tuka reconcile yeah. uh, one of the things zenye zime come out sana you know in this conversation is the fact that you know these guys wameonyesha no kwamba they've really been trying to help you you know get back on your feet that is true yeah yeah that is true that is very very true yeah. Na wewe kwa upande wako unahisi kwamba pengine ulikosea wapi? Okay, mimi naweza sema kwa upande wangu uh, naweza kuwa nilikosea kikuja ni, ni ile tu kutokuwa communication yangu haikuwa effective kabisa. So uh, na unajua uspo at least discuss with one of your brothers uh, una kuna hizo challenges kiasi. So nili try kuongea na Odi wa Moranga na X3 nikaeleza kila kitu wakanielezea pia pande yao about this and that na pia nikielewa na tukafika tuka katika understanding e, na nikalan kitu yani Yeah, one of the things ambazo zimetokea kwenye conversation ni kwamba you know there is a time pengine eh, Uh, uh, drugs zilikuwa fact that was a fact mingine? yeah that was very true uh, that period ilikuwa when i was writing my music and recording unajua that time i was trying to push hard so that at least my fans wangu na wapatie mziki poa so in that process ile tu kidogo ile kujipush kidogo nikatumia tumia kiasi hapo hivyo mshimbili tatu nini nini Uh, so ilikuwa imeni affect kidogo na nili i went for a therapy session and a counseling for like two months yes. and uh, that's when i started recovering yeah, yeah. amazing wamesema pia kwamba wako tayari kukupeleka rehab you know ama uanzishe program ya rehabilitation are you ready for that uh, as i've said uh, i've gone for a therapy session and a counseling for two months mm -hmm. na it has worked for me Also ka it's going there's no problem I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. Na sasa hivi tunapozungumza sehemu ya kuishi, sehemu ya kukaa na kukula imepatikana ama what is the status? A status for now um, just with my fellow friend. Yeah yeah so we were just discussing about the matter ndio tujue vile tutaifanya. Yeah tujue vile mambo itarekebishwa ikwe Okay. Na pia amezungumza akasema kwamba eh, issue ya kufanya video haifai kuwa kuwa na shida tukazungumza nao akasema kwamba uh, issue ya, eh, ya rent there is a management ambayo inasimamia that eh, kweli kuna management ambayo inasimamia na hao ndio ambao wanatushughulikia katika project zetu video kimziki Eh, so ile tu kwa kuwa na hiyo communication effect, effective yani mm -hmm. eh, watu wa kuwa naelewa ambacho kinachoendelea yeah, so i cannot blame on anyone what i can say is that there was not enough uh, communication within the party wow. amazing na pengine wewe mwenyewe na ukiangalia this whole situation ambayo imekuwa ikiendelea unahisi kwamba 
as an artist eh, ambayo umetoka chini ukakuja juu and then at some point pia ukashuka chini kidogo of course so mwisho wa maisha lakini nataka nijue umejifunza nini uh, nimejifunza kitu ya kwanza uh, never make decision on the any circumstance or any any substance yani yeah. eh, si vizuri yani mm -hmm. pia ni poa kuwa na 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 na, na uhusiano mwema na, na watu walio karibu yeah. pia watu wengineo pia ni poa kuwa na hiyo self discipline mm -hmm. yako we mwenyewe yani unajua vitu zingine yani usi when it comes to like peer pressure na nini eh uh, hizo ni poa mtu ku, ku reduce a bit yani amazing alafu pia tumezungumza nao wamesema kwamba issue kubwa pia ambayo imejitokeza ni issue ya marafiki zako hivi kwani marafiki zako wamekuwa waina gani okay uh, na kongana na marafiki lakini si wengi sana unajua marafiki wizi wajua eh, in eh, wizi wajua na siku ya kwanza unajua unapokana msee ndio unajua karakter zake leta ndio unajua huu mtu anakaa hivi na hivi so unajua wanasema nga show me your friends i show you yeah, yeah. so mi nimekuwa niki nimekuwa tu na few friends but ni, wenye nilikuwa nao niko na jaribu tu ku create kitu unaona mm -hmm. uh, we were trying to do things but their characters ndio unaweza pata zilikuwa mbaya mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to kufanya kitu yani ile pamoja mm -hmm. nilikuwa na consider sana wow. Uh, Umesemekana kwamba pia sasa hii tunavozungumza uko na ngoma kibao sana ziko pale kwenye studio azijaachiwa. Mipango iko vipi? Eh sahi, eh, na panga kufanya releasings. Ni kweli nimefanya a lot of audios mm -hmm. na a lot of tracks but si kwa nimeanza kuwa kia in visuals. Yeah. So visuals ndio nimekuwa nikipanga tu pole pole hizo ndio zilikuwa zinanipatia tu ile tu ni ni kidogo ile ile kutaka kujituma kiasi eh, yeah. eh, lakini hizo project zaja zaja mm -hmm. na watu wa kwe wa subscribe yani wa kwe ready wa jue tu a lot of good music is coming through yeah. do you promise mashabiki kwamba kitu ambacho kilitokea hapo awali akitatokea tena tutamuona Madox tofauti na Madox ambayo tulimuona juzi uh, ama hali inakuwaje E, kile naweza sema hakuna e, kitu kama hiyo itahappen tena kwa mafans wangu nawapenda sana na Apolini kwa all that stuff na allegation tu zenye zimekuwa hapo mbeleni hizo tu zilikuwa tu ile you know challenges kidogo lakini niliweza kukop nazo in a positive way na pia niliweza kurekebisha ile mali penye nilikuwa nimekosea kama ni kwa my fans Eh, my, my my fellow mates yeah. kila wali yani tu ile tu eh, ni mmba msamaha okay. eh, na mambo itakuwa na kwa sababu ume, umejifunza ka mambo kadhaa you know during this whole experience zungumza na wasanii wa Gengeton you know zungumza na wasanii wengine ambao pengine they might wanaweza waka waka, waka, waka slide kidogo na kushuka chini okay naweza bonga kwanza na wasanii wa Gengeton niwaambia kitu ya kwanza manze usiache pia pressure ku drive usiache a lot of things ziku drive kwa tu ule mse yako na hiyo discipline discipline muhimu kuwa humble work hard TBD yani kuwa tu na hiyo principle tu yani eh, Mungu ataleta hayo mengine yani eh, na discipline na kila kitu pia heshima kila mtu mkubwa kwa mdogo kuwa na hiyo respect yeah when meeting with other people kuni na hiyo heshima do good things fanya ni project manze this is our music manze we should take it far manze wow. amazing nimekuwa nikipiga story na you know msanii ambaye ni Tomadox na kabla tutumalize nimeona KRG the Don amezungumza amesema kwamba hao wasanii wa genge tu niliwaambia unajua na juzi eh tumeona pia one of the artists ambaye alikuwa kwa sailors koko sakilia kwamba yeah, you know maisha yamekuwa magumu sana KRG amesema kwamba aliwaongeleshaga wasanii you know wa sailors na gengeton lakini hawakumsikiza was that hiyo ni ukweli uh, inaweza kwa yeah inaweza kwa some of them they did not listen mm -hmm. 
but I think uh, I'll address I'll address that issue yeah I'll address that issue mm -hmm. uh, uh, you support kile mimi sema unajua kibaya ni kibaya kizuri ni kizuri so ile part alisema about hiyo oh, wasani wa genge wanafarekebisha ABCD mm -hmm. they should try at least ndio you know waongeze at least yani hiyo effect yani yeah. positive yani oh. in, in as much as ana try kuzungumku criticize ama kusema kwamba chochote alisema ni kweli anafaa to come out with some positivity ana sema yani kwa 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 wasanii yani wasanii oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so wasanii msi you know when someone is telling you and someone is old he is telling you something ni fiti ku ka mm -hmm. you think about it then you see if it's wrong or right kama si right achana na if it's right you know just make some change somewhere yeah. Amazing. Asante sana bro. Mimi nashukuru sana. All the best kwenye muziki wako. Mimi nakuamini sana uko na kipaji. You've entertained us before and I do believe kwamba you can really do it even again. All the best mzee. Tunashukuru sana. Alafu in case of anything to siwai kuogopa, you know, to reach out to your mates, kuambie, you know, 1 2 3. In case of anything, you go pia to reach out to us, utuambie, you know, I'm going through this na ningependa usaidizi kwa sababu mwisho siku kila mtu there's a time in Africa anahitaji usaidizi lakini all the best i'm really happy nikiangalia Madox ambaye nilizungumza naye last time na Madox ambaye anazungumza naye sasa hii is a different one i'm really happy and i'm proud of you oh, thank you asante sana mimi ni presenter Ali your entertainment PA the A is always for amazing behind the camera director Trevor alafu kuna mwanangu nguvu anaitwa Jorizo ameshikilia light kabisa kama amechoka anyways siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa usipende kusifiwa i'll see you guys in the next video